What is up everybody and welcome to today's video. If you are new to the channel, my name is Zach, this is SC Fish Keeping and I appreciate you stopping by. As you can see today we are outside. It is sunny, it's actually very, very bright. <laughs> there are no birds chirping because it is a whole five degrees. Maybe you can see that. <laughs> and I don't feel like shoveling the rest of my driveway. So today we are gonna go on a mission a quest, if you will, to look for a very specific fish. I heard of a local fish store that has it. It gets big, it has a temper. So let's go track it down. All right, we made it. And uh, we're at uh, a place that I have never taken you before. This is another uh, local fish store in Omaha called Rivers and Reefs. It's a smaller place, a little more unique selection, but uh, I'm really excited to get in there and see if they have something that we can take home. So uh, let's go. Cool little uh, neon tetra. I always love those things. I've never even seen these things. Check this thing out. I don't know if you can see what that is, but uh, there's a platinum crayfish in there, and at first glance, it was like, oh no, the thing's dead, but look at this. So it's hiding out back there. The thing molted, like, shed its skin, which you know, it's kind of a weird thing to think that crayfish do, but uh, that's pretty cool. You don't typically see that happen in a store, so that's awesome. Let's see what else we can find. Little three spot half beak. Looks like the world's smallest gar. You didn't even see that one up there. Those are cool. What would they have going on in there? <laughs> the large pretty one. That's awesome. Bunch of babies in here. So I've actually already shown you the fish that I'm gonna buy. Uh, any guesses? Let me know down below. Some really, really pretty looking baby Oscars. No pressure.
All right, so you can see the fish right there. Uh, you can probably guess just by the body shape what it is. I'll go ahead and show you closer. If you are unfamiliar with this fish, this is a clown knife fish. This is a fish that will get absolutely massive. It's a very unique, uh, unusual fish, and it's a fish that uh, you know I've wanted for a while. So we got him. He's acclimated. He's going to go in this little quarantine tank. But uh, I'll show you when he's in the tank. But we got to get back to uh, rivers and reefs because there's an unbelievable fish that I never thought I'd stumble upon here. And uh, I really, really want to show it to you. So let's get this little clown in there, and then I'll show you this... Uh, ancient giant. So really, really pretty colors on him. He's a good size. He looks to be very, very healthy. Um, he's just going to be in this little quarantine tank. Got a little uh, spot down there that he can uh, hang out and hide in. But yeah, really excited about this guy. Uh, if you've ever had a clown knife before, uh, let me know. Uh, I see a lot of them on YouTube, but I don't see too many when they uh, start out young. But uh, yeah, let's get back to rivers and reefs. So this place is pretty cool. Um, I really want to show you this one specific fish though. I don't know if you can see this thing. This thing is huge. No, I really don't see that many uh, African lungfish just in general, but to see one that is 20 inches, maybe bigger, maybe two feet, that thing is huge. So that's insane. Uh, definitely not something that I expected to uh, just stumble upon, you know, on a little tank on the bottom. I just still can't get over the size of this lungfish. It's freaking huge! How would you even take that thing home? <laughs> you just buy it and it lives here. Come see it whenever you want. Just visit. <laughs> Joint custody. So all done in there. Another big thank you to uh, Rivers and Reefs in Omaha. Uh, awesome place. The lungfish was uh, really, really cool. They were uh, trying to... Uh, you know, kind of work with me on the price and stuff, but, uh, you know, 200 bucks is pretty pricey and that's a pretty big fish, but, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think is uh, a two foot lung fish in uh, my future? Let me know down below. But, uh, I showed you getting the fish. It's not the two foot lung fish, but it is going to get, uh, just as big. All right, everybody, it has been a few hours since we left Rivers and Reefs, since all that footage that you saw. I am down here just hanging out with the clown knife, and he and I were having a little chat. He's a little upset. I'm a little guilty. I feel a little guilty. This video was about me going out and buying a new fish, and he was upstaged. His thunder was stolen by a two-foot-long African lungfish. Honestly, though, that lungfish really is something that you just don't see every day in your local fish stores. He blew my mind. I've been thinking about him ever since I left, and uh, I'm serious. If enough of you tell me down in the comments that this is something that you want me to go get, I might have to call them back and say, hey, I need the big guy. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. If you have not already, please consider subscribing. Ding that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos, and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. For now, though, we will call it a day. I hope you enjoyed. 
Thanks for hanging out with me, and until the next video, I will see you soon. Bye, fish. See you later. See you soon. Bye-bye.